Gaussian elimination is the topic for today. This is Mathematics 1503, Linear Algebra A. Let us start. We use Gaussian elimination method to solve for three equations or two equations having uh, three or more unknown variables. We know that when we have two or three equations with two unknowns, it's simple. We can simply use substitution and eliminate and solve for the unknowns. But when you are looking at three unknown variables, it can be difficult. We must use Gaussian elimination method to calculate the unknown variables. Now, in this case, we have three equations with three variables. Now, don't be confused. Sometimes you might see x, y, and z. Sometimes you will see something like this, x1, x2, and x3. These are different variables. So we need to solve for x1, x2, and x3 using Gaussian elimination method. Now, these are the given equation. The first step that we need to do, we need to represent this in an argument, augmented form. This term sometimes to pronounce it might be difficult. It's augmented form. So what is augmented form? It's the matrix form of these equations. So we write only the coefficient and then we separate the left hand side with this vertical line. And then we have 2, 11, 5, 9. We have 4, 18, 3, and 11. So we are going to deal with this matrix. Now this method is simple. All we need to do, we need to change this element, this one and this one, to be 1. We need 1, 1, 1, and then the rest of these elements below must be 0. That is the idea behind this Gaussian elimination method. We are going to change this matrix to be in a raw action form, such that these vertical lines we have, I mean these vertical elements we have 1. So let us do that. The first thing that you are going to do, we are going to focus on row number two. We need to make this to be zero. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take row one. Let me actually take row two minus row one. And then this operation will take place on row number two. So it means row number one will be the same nothing will change then we are going to change only the row which this operation will take place so 2 minus 1 row 2 minus 1 is going to be 2 minus 2 we have a 0 we have 0 and then we have 11 minus 8 we have 3 we have 5 minus minus it's 5 minus minus 4 this will be 9 and then we have 9 minus 0 we have 9 so we rewrite row number 3 and then from here we focus on this one what do we need to do now I want to change this element to be 1 so what I'm going to do, I'm going to perform an operation on this row. Oh no. On this row. So I'm going to multiply 1 over 2 on row number 1. So row number 1 will change. 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 is 1. 1 over 2 multiplied by 8, we have... 4 1 over 2 multiplied by negative 4 it's negative 2 1 over 2 multiplied by 0 
we have zero. So we rewrite everything for 18, 3 and 11. So we focus on this new matrix. So what will be my next operation? Okay, let us check. We can see row number two, we have obtained this zero, it's fine for now. Row number one, we have obtained one, it's fine. Let us look at row number three. We need to change this to be zero. How do we do that? Now, since I can see that row number one has one, and I want to change this element to be zero. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply row number one by this, but it must be inverse. Row number one plus R3, such that this, actually this multiplied by negative four plus this will give us zero. So let us perform that operation. So everything we rewrite, we have 0, 3, 9, 9. Now check. Negative 4 multiplied by 1, it's negative 4 multiplied by 1, this one, plus 4. It will give us 0, so we have 0 here. Now going to this one. It will be negative 4 multiplied by positive 4. We have 16. Actually, it's negative 16. Negative 16 plus 18 is equals to 2. And then we go to the next one. We have negative 4 multiplied by negative 2. It's positive 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. And then negative 4 multiplied by 0 is 0, 0 plus 11, we still have 11. So we focus on this new matrix. I hope you can see the operations. Now we see that we have this, this, this. Now we need to do something with this. We need to change this 3 to be 1, so we can multiply by 1 over 3 on this row. So everything will remain the same. So 1 over 3 multiplied by 0 is 0. 1 over 3 multiplied by 3 is 1. Let me actually do this. We have 0, 1. 1 over 3 multiplied by 9, we have 3, and then 1 over 3 multiplied by 9 again, it's 3. So we still have 0, 2, 11, and 11. So this is the new matrix we are going to perform our operations. Now we can see that so far everything is okay. The problem now we need to change this to be 0. And take note, whatever uh, uh, operation you are performing here, just make sure it doesn't tamper with these elements. They must remain the same. So what can we do? Now we can, we can multiply row number two by the, by negative two plus this element. I mean this row. So on this row, we are going to multiply. Uh, it's negative 2, R2 plus R3. I hope it doesn't tamper with any other elements which we have changed so far. So R2, this operation we're going to perform on R3. So R2 remains the same. Now on R3, it's negative 2 multiplied by 0 plus 0, which is 0. 
Uh, negative 2 multiplied by 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 multiplied by 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. No, it's actually, yeah, 0. And then we move on to the next one. Negative 2 multiplied by 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 11 is 5. Now same goes to this one. Negative 2 multiplied by 3 is negative 6 plus 11 is 5. So we are here now. The only thing left is this one. We need to make sure that we have 1. So how do we do that? We are going to multiply by 1 over 5 or 3. So everything remains the same. We have 1, 4, negative 2, 0, 0, 1, 3, 3. So 0 multiplied by 1 over 5 is 0. It's 0. And then 1 over 5 multiplied by 5 is 1. And then 1 over 5 multiplied by 5 is 1. So from here, we can actually solve our system. Now writing this in new equations, we are going to have 1x1 plus 4x2 minus 2x3 is equals to 0. And then we are going to have 0x1, which is the same as 0, so you, you might as well not write anything. And then we have 1x2 plus 3x3 is equals to 3. And then we have, we can see that x1, x2 is 0 for the third equation. So we have x3 is equals to 1. This is the first solution. x3 is equals to 1. So we can go ahead and back substitute. So it means we are going to have 1x1, eh, 1x2 plus 3. And then x3 is 1. We substitute by 1. It's equals to 3. And then we have x2 plus 3 is equal to 3. We transpose, we are, going, we are going to have x2 is equal to 3 minus 3 is 0. This is the second solution. Now we have x3 and x2. We can go ahead and substitute the two solutions to this equation. So x1 plus 4, x2 is 0. 2x3 is 1, it's equals to 0. So it's x1 plus 0 minus 2 is equals to 0. And then x1 is equals to positive 2. So the solution for this set of linear systems is 2 or 0, 1. So this is our solution. Now you can see the way kings. We are done with Gaussian elimination method and then we have to we have obtained our solution. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.